Outsource.com here for a paralleling energizers video. We just picked up this new parallel cable for the Energizer EZV series and we have a 50 amp receptacle. I'm so excited about that because these two units right here, the 3200 watt and the 2000 watt are putting out 43 amps total. So we can run just about everything in our travel trailer behind me and we're gonna test that today. We wanna know putting out that 43 amps between these two units, can we run everything at the same time in this travel trailer? We can step up this goes a little bit larger. If you were to pair two 3,200 watts together, you would put out 53 amps. For us, we don't need that much in this 26 and a half foot travel trailer. I think the 43 amps should do enough. Without further ado, we're gonna crank these two up, uh, run over and plug into the 50 amp cord and see what we can run uh, on the inside of this travel trailer. All right, we have our 50 amp cord here for the travel trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and then we will crank. Oh man, that's a little tight. And then we will go ahead and crank on the larger unit and the smaller unit here. Both of these units right now are gonna be running on uh, eco mode. So this is as quiet as they're gonna get. On, inside the travel trailer, the only thing that's gonna be running right now is our um, refrigerator that draws about four amps and maybe the battery charger. Nothing else is on in there. We're gonna get a decibel reading first in between. 83 decibels about. Uh, we'll head on inside and start flipping switches and turning things on and see how bad these things rev up and how much we can power. All right, first up, we are going to engage the 15,000 BTU air conditioner that we have. As you can see right here on our control panel, nothing else is running. So we'll go ahead and kick this on high fan and uh, turn the AC down. There goes the fan now. Jumped up to 70 decibels, but that's mostly fan noise. I can't even hear the generators right now. It's a time delay for that compressor to kick on. Let's see. There's the compressor. You probably just heard a little jerk. So the compressor is now running. It's blowing cold air. We'll go ahead and engage the electric hot water heater. Like I said, this AC is pulling uh, about 14 amps. It's really cool right now, so it's not a lot of stress. And the electric uh, hot water heater is pulling about 12 amps. It's a time delay on that of about four seconds. So right now we are pulling about 20 eight amps and uh, we seem to be running. We haven't, we haven't thrown a breaker or anything like that. Uh, the last big appliance that we have, uh, actually if you take a look back here, we are running the uh, refrigerator on AC. Uh, it is uh, running just off of the generator right now. As you can see, AC right here. And uh, again, this is pulling about four amps. Um, so the last big appliance that we would run at the same time is the microwave, and this pulls about 12 amps. So now we're gonna jump up to 40 amps. That's almost maxing out that system because it's putting out 43 amps. So I'll go ahead and kick this on and we'll see if we can keep running. Microwave just kicked on. So uh, we're running everything right now. We're running the AC, the microwave, and the electric hot water heater, pulling roughly 38 to 40 amps. Uh, so we can definitely run everything in this travel trailer at the same time. We'll go ahead and kick on the TV and the radio just uh, for giggles because that's the only other thing that we have to run. I just turned on the TV and the radio down here. Although the TV and radio don't draw much, uh, everything does run at the same time. I've turned off the AC right now because I want to get a decibel reading inside the travel trailer with the generators running in parallel right outside the unit. They're literally 10 feet away and I have the door open behind me. 46 decibels, so uh, about six decibels over ambient. All right, so now we've turned everything off. These have throttled back down to their eco mode. I'm gonna go ahead and shut them both off. 
power those uh, power those down but really really impressive because we can run everything in our travel trailer with that 50 amp cord plugged in so uh, like I said we can run everything at the same time this is a really really unique setup I'm super excited about it because this 50 amp receptacle just came out so you get the best of both worlds with this setup because you have the push button start plus you have a 30 amp receptacle on the easy v 3200p and then when you parallel them you have the 50 amp so uh, in the morning if you want to run uh, you want to push button start this generator you still have access to that uh, to that 30 amp receptacle or if you need to run them in parallel you have the 50 amps and in a 26 and a half foot travel trailer uh, you can run everything at the same time so this has been generatorpowersource.com just wanted to give you a quick look at the energizer parallel kit with that 50 amp cord subscribe give us a thumbs up guys it's what helps us to keep going and we'll be back with more videos next time we